Shalom, brothers and sisters. You know what? I want to I wanna encourage you. We, we see a lot, and, and you'll see it on Netflix. You'll see it on television. You'll see it out in the real world all around you. You'll see it on your social media groups and things like that. People tend to flock towards a thing. So they either support a football club or a rugby club or a soccer club or something. They're into some sport in a big way. They become so excited and connected and identified with that thing that you find them buying jackets or jerseys or caps and paraphernalia and everything that is connected to that thing that they feel they identify with and they identify with it so strongly that they're in everyone's face it's on the lawns of their homes they have big banners up they wear the clothing they go out they talk about it passionately if there's something about it on the television they make sure they're there or they're in the stadium cheering they want to be seen to be the biggest fan or follower of said doctrine, sport, thing, anything. Now my question for you is, why can't we be like that for Jesus? For the truth. Why can't we be wearing the message all the time? Why can't we be excited about things to do with God? Why can't we be rushing to get to these things, to be part of these things, to make sure everybody knows? Why can't we put things up in our yards and our homes and make sure everybody understands that we are happy and excited and sold out fans of Jesus Christ? We identify with the truth in a time of darkness. We are on the winning team. We are cheering. Be like that. For Jesus, food for thought.